Russia's invasion in Ukraine caused several activities and several reactions in common security and defense policy uh, of the European Union. As a first reaction, uh, EU countries agreed uh, to send weapons to Ukraine. Other uh, activities include uh, the joint production uh, and procurement uh, of uh, military equipment. A Russian war uh, is also affecting uh, the wider uh, political perspective uh, with uh, Finland and Sweden uh, who ask for uh, NATO membership. And of course, uh, these uh, changes will have a wider repercussion and long-lasting repercussions also after the Russian invasion in Ukraine uh, will end. So conventional wisdom in the wake of Russia's war in the Ukraine very much has it that the crisis has reinforced the European pillar of NATO and basically allowed NATO to rediscover its purpose. The fact that Sweden and Finland have turned to NATO to ensure their immediate security tends to confirm this reading in the short term. But if you look at the level of strategic and geographical convergence that will now exist between NATO and the EU, the fact that Denmark has opted in to CSDP, the political efforts of the EU to shore up its defence policy in the last few years, and the financial efforts of European countries to reinvest in security, I wonder if in the longer term we might not start to envisage a NATO pillar of Europe to be a bit provocative rather than a European pillar of NATO. Thank you.